The next preset we're gonna make is the vertical flick transition. In your timeline, place two flips next to each other, then create an adjustment layer and drag that adjustment layer on top of your track above your cut. Go to the effect panel, search for directional blur and drag it onto the adjustment layer. In the effect control panel, set the direction to 90 degrees and set blur length to zero. Move your playhead to the center of your adjustment layer where your two clips meet and click the stopwatch next to blur length to create a keyframe. Go five frames back and set the blur length to zero. Then go back to the center keyframe and set your blur length to 200. Then move five frames forward and set your blur length to zero. Select all three keyframes and easy ease them. Then go back to the effect panel search for brightness and contrast, and then drop that onto the same adjustment layer. Then at that first keyframe, set brightness to zero. Then at your next keyframe where your two clips meet, set your brightness to 70, then go five more frames forward to where your effect ends and set it back to zero. And then again, make sure you easy ease all of these keyframes. Now head up to the effect panel, grab the transform effect, and apply that to the adjustment layer. Uncheck composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 180. Then go up to the effect controls and control click directional blur, brightness and contrast, and transform, right click and click save preset. Name it vertical flick transition, and then you'll have that in your effect panel for future use. And if you did it right, it should look something like this.